Many Magic the Gathering players ask the question, is it worth it to buy from the vault? Lore. As always, the answer to this question will be different for different players, based upon their individual needs and goals. Thus, for this video, we will examine worth as it relates to players looking for financial value, both of individual cards and as a whole, playability in constructed decks for formats such as Commander, Modern, and Legacy, as well as cards for collections. Let's take a look. A note before we begin. The focus of this video will be examining the most recent from the vault, from the vault lore. But I will also be looking briefly at the value of previous from the vault series as well, in order to make reasonable assumptions about the current set's value and future. From the vault lore contains the following. So when looking to purchase this product, the first question that should be asked is, do you want all the cards from it or just a select few? Are you excited for that alternate art foil Momir Vig, but don't really plan to use the other 14 cards in the set? If so, your needs might be best met by just buying the individual card, which in this example is only $3.37 currently. If you are interested in the majority of these cards, how does the individual cost compare to the cost of the the From the Vault. From the Vault has an MSRP of $40, but it is highly, highly unlikely you'll be able to buy it for that price. Why? Because From the Vault is an exceptionally limited release, with most game stores getting as few as 5 to 10 boxes. Currently, looking on both eBay and Amazon, I see the range of prices From the Vaults to be between $60 to $80 US. While some rare stores may sell these for their $40 MSRP, I think it is fair to say that the vast vast majority of us must accept the price of $60 to $80 as the cost of this product. So is From the Vault lore worth $60 to $80? If I were to buy the 15 cards contained within this set today, going by their non-foil original versions, it would cost me approximately $125.62, and that is not including a foil Merit Lage token. The original Merit Lage tokens, a previous hard-to-find piece of hardcore bling, are currently selling for about $20 each. The foil Merit Lage token included in From the Vault lore are selling for $5.50 each. So yes, for someone wanting not just an individual card or two, but rather a complete set of these cards, even at $60 to $80 for one From the Vault, this is a significantly better value than just buying the individual cards. What about long-term value? If I were to hold on to this set unopened, would it likely increase or decrease in value over time? Looking at the prices of previous From the Vaults, we can see that only From the Vault Annihilation, which was possibly the worst From the Vault ever put together, has not significantly gone up in price. Coming in close second to this is the previous From the Vault, From the Vault Angels, another lackluster offering which is now available for just under $100. But all other From the Vaults are available at around or above $150, with From the Vault Exiled having the highest current value at $240. So from a financial perspective, if you want the individual cards, the majority of these cards in this set, then it is far more worth it to buy From the Vault lore for $60 to $80. And also, from an investment standpoint, it seems highly likely that this set will rise considerably in value over the years. Why do I feel it is much more likely to see From the Vault lore rise in value when From the Vault Annihilation did not? Well, that brings us to the playability of these cards in constructed formats. Where a set like From the Vault Annihilation failed to provide cards that people actually needed for play in formats such as Modern and Legacy, and only a few fringe cards played in Commander, From the Vault lore 
not only offers a large selection of cards that see play in multiple formats, but several of which were already highly in need of reprints. The two biggest cards here are Umazawa's Jite and Dark Depths. Now, Dark Depths is the basis of an entire deck in Legacy, and Jite is played in multiple Legacy decks as well. Both these cards are banned in Modern due to their power level and brokenness being so high, but they do show up in a lot of Commander decks, as well as some fringe formats like Canadian Highlander. What about the rest of the cards? Also, that Merit Lage token is great frosting on the cake, or frosting on the ice, as it were, as the tokens are already extremely limited, and their inclusion here may be another big factor in this set skyrocketing in value over the years. Well, those snooty academics at Talaria West see play in Modern and Commander due to its transmute ability, and cards like Glissa, Memnarch, and Momir Vig are favorite commanders, especially in the case of Glissa and Memnarch. Finally, while their individual value is not as high as the others, cards like Phyrexian Processor, Obliterate, Beseech the Queen, Unmask, Mind's Desire, and Cabal Ritual all see varying degrees of limited inclusion in decks. That leaves Near-Death Experience and Hell Vault as the real duds of this set, but for the rest of it, these are cards that people want to play with in their decks. For collectors, the From the Vault alternate art of Momir Vig, Mind's Desire, and Cabal Ritual is going to be highly appealing. But as usual, the terrible foiling process is actually a con, making From the Vault premium cards usually less than premium in most collectors' eyes. I'll talk more about the terrible curling here and on foils in general in another video, but suffice it to say this is one of the worst things about the From the Vault series as a whole. These cards come curled already in the packaging. It's a terrible problem. Final conclusion? After the lackluster and disappointing From the Vault Angels, and the absolute dud of From the Vault Annihilation, From the Vault lore is a solid success. High value cards that see play in Legacy and Commander, as well as many moderately played format favorites, and several high profile commanders, make this a set with a lot of appeal for a lot of formats, thus ensuring a high financial value long term. While problems such as foil curling have always haunted the From the Vault series, From the Vault lore is worth it at a price of $60 to $80, both in terms of financial value and card playability. Grade? This is an A-. minus. Remember that the more you find this being sold for, the less it becomes worth it. Just as the less you find this being sold for, the more it becomes worth it still. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a comment. And of course, the best way to keep this channel going and growing strong is by offering your support at Patreon.com. This channel literally only exists because of the support of patron alums at Patreon. So thank you.